Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, we're gonna to be talking about some injury updates regarding the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Firstly, Antoine Winfield Jr., he's been participating in practice. Seems like he's gonna be pretty much ready to go. Kalaja Kansi still continues to practice and there is a possibility he may play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in week number one versus the Minnesota Vikings. That is very, very good news. Anthony Nelson is definitely gonna be more of a game time decision as he has still been limited in practice throughout this week. And Keyshawn Vaughn returned to practice. Seems like he's going to be good to go. Kayvon Merriweather seems like he's probably going to be good to go as well. But the most interesting one is that Cody Mock has now missed his second day in a row at practice. And Buccaneers head coach Todd Bowles said that the plan would be for Aaron Stinney to be the backup guard should Mock not go. Cody Mock came up on the injury report um, pretty much after Wednesday, I believe Thursday and now Friday, he has not participated in practices. And Cody Mox is starting offensive lineman for the Buccaneers, former second round draft pick in the most recent NFL draft. He is your starting right guard next to Luke Gedeke and next to Robert Hainsey, the team's starting center. So this is obviously not great news, right? You obviously want all of your starting offensive linemen to be healthy. Cody Mock, I believe it is a back injury. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below, but that is the the type of injury that Mock is dealing with. And, you know, again, it's not good to have your starting O lineman injured, right? But Cody Mock is a rookie. He could certainly use that experience in terms of just getting live game action reps. But the Buccaneers, if there was a position on the offensive line to have some type of injury, you know, the interior offensive line is where they have the most depth right? You have Aaron Stinney, who is still there. You have Nick Leverett, who is still there. Both those guys have started at guard for the Buccaneers in the past. And certainly you could have made the argument that either one of those guys could have been the team's starting guard in some type of competition, you know, say at the start of the off season. Um, obviously those guys did have a little bit of a rough preseason, Stinney and Leverett did, but they've still got starting and caliber experience, which I think there is certainly something to say for that. And I think they can at the very least get the job done, right? Be a serviceable guard, you know, uh, do what they need to do and be a serviceable replacement, right? That, that's kind of the depth the Buccaneers have there at that interior offensive line. So again, while it's not great that Mock may miss this game, and I say may because we, we honestly don't know. I think it's pretty much in doubt right now that he's going to be playing in week number one. You still have some good depth guys there. You still have some guys that you could even reach out to in kind of the, the free agent atmosphere as well. John Mulshawn is another guy you could bring back into the mix. He's currently not on a team. Could potentially look to uh, you know, maybe bring him back at some point as well. But uh yeah, not great news for Cody Mock, but the Buccaneers are probably the most prepared at that position, at, you know, along the offensive line than any other spot. And, um, you know, we will have to wait and see if Stinney or Nick Leverett will get the go-ahead and be able to, uh, you know, or will be getting some starting reps in that matchup. So, folks, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about this down in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, by the way, go check out the new sea shanty. To have a new sea shanty out, man. Go check that out. I would definitely appreciate that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, we'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now. Go Bucks.